Good morning guys, it's 7 o'clock at Jungding and just pretty much woke up. First thing on my schedule is breakfast from 7.30 to 8.30. So I gotta be there pretty soon because the dining hall closes at 8.40. So you have to go within the arranged time. But anyways, here's the room. Two beds, even though it's just me. Pretty good space. Um, here out on the deck. You have a washing machine, a little bit of hangers so you can dry the clothes. Not the greatest view because I'm in the back side of the building. But here is a little fridge. The bathroom is pretty nice as well. So yeah, $70 a night for eat, sleep, training, sleeping. I think it's a pretty reasonable price. And uh the maids also come and clean, they mop the floor every couple days, so that's really nice. And then they give you free water, because tap water is not drinkable in China. And then there's not, water fountains aren't really a thing either. So once you finish the water bottles, they'll come and give you a new pack. Anyways, I'll see you guys at breakfast. Well, we've arrived at the dining hall for breakfast. This is the foreigners dining hall or any of the non-students. Let's look at the options. It's about 8.40, we just finished breakfast. This is the secondary building where we have breakfast. And then I'll give you guys a little tour of the main building. Alright, these are the academic buildings. So the students here are in school right now from about 8 to 11.30. And then, so yeah, they only have three and a half hours of class every day. And they train about five hours a day. And this is the front, this is the front parking lot of the main building. So let's get a better shot. And then here's the gym. I will be making a trip here very shortly. So we're in the main hall now, and this there's some sort of hobbyist tournament going on this weekend. Uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. I was about to go to the gym. I'm still going to, but just took a little detour to check out this tournament going on. Nice, empty gym. Just the way I like it. Well, to be honest with you, nobody really even comes to this gym. And the students are in class. So, very limited gym, mainly barbell stuff. Uh, there's only one pair of dumbbells over there. And then a bunch of sort of machines. Very incomplete, but you gotta work with what you have. So, I'm gonna try and hit some chest today. And I'll set up a few shots. Also, I forgot to mention, but I'll post a picture of our daily training schedule on the screen right here. And you can just pause it if you want to look at it for a little bit longer. Alright, that's a wrap for the gym. Probably only spent like 20 minutes or so, but gotta conserve my energy for later. And yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the room, get a few snacks, and then go check out the training hall. So next to the secondary building, they even have a small little supermarket. 
little clinic, hospital kind of thing, massage place. Not much going on, but can't really get much there anyways. So it's about 10 o'clock. I have an hour and a half of free time before lunch. So let's check out the training hall. So let's see who's in here. Got a coaching loss, private lesson over here. Some old random guy practicing serves with earbuds on. Um, let's see, there's a Panama guy, Jackie or something like that, with his coach. So yeah, not not many people in the morning because kids are in class. Um, yeah, the only people that would be here practicing are usually the handicapped people because they don't have class so this is this is an example here practicing backhand loop and uh, yeah other foreigners would usually come in the mornings but yeah the first thing the first practice I have scheduled is 2:30 in the afternoon so pretty much mornings are gym uh, serve practice or practice with other foreigners um, or you could take private lessons so yeah, so the woman on the right is Julie. She's the main contact for foreigners if you want to uh, get in contact with Jung Ding and book a trip here. Her English is all right. And yeah, so let's get a little bit of footage of the training. Lu Xiang now. So it's a Panama guy and then some other student that doesn't go to class. It's currently about 11.30 and we're entering the dining hall again for lunch. So let's see what's on the menu. Bunch of veggies. Um, stuff. Pretty good. The only problem is they don't have much lean, lean meat because Chinese people don't like to eat the dry chicken breast or dry uh, beef, beef, whatever, beef, beef, lean beef. So most of the stuff they have is pretty fatty. So that's why I have to be very picky. Here's my food: a couple of pork balza, some beef, a little bit of bok choy and some purple potato thingy. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, so we've arrived at lunch and today joining us we have Rishab. He's a regional Indian table tennis player. And then we have Tommy, a Canadian junior. And we have Amir. Alright, just got done with lunch. It's about 12.40 and yeah, it's pretty much just free time now, just until 2.30 for my first session. So I'll probably just take a nap because my other friends didn't feel like feeding multi-ball. So I guess I have nothing else to do. Maybe start editing this video. And yep, I'll show you guys the practice at 2.30. It's 2.30 and we've been split up into groups for starting the training. So. These are the higher groups, I'm up here. I'll check back later.
People are getting lazy now. today and it's 5 30 for dinner let's check out the options Alright, finished dinner. It's 6.30. Back for the second session, the evening session. Kids are warming up now. I should be doing this, but I'm recording this video. It's 8.30. We just finished the second training session. So the day is pretty much over. Just took a shower, about to go to bed, and get ready for the next day. Actually, tomorrow uh, the training schedule is a little bit different, but in lieu of training, a uh, friend and I are gonna just go play a local tournament. So I'll probably take a couple shots from there, upload some clips from that. And if you guys want, you can ask me questions in the comments. Um, I'll try to answer all the questions you guys have and yeah, I'll try and upload some other videos from Jungding because I'm sure people are curious what... I mean, I didn't really record much of the training, so I could probably do that in another video. So just let me know what you want to see. And uh, that's about it.